Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Torque News. I'm giving you an exclusive first look at the 2020 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Limited. Coming soon to a dealer near you. Let's check this out, Ruby Flare Pearl. I'm gonna show you what's so special about it. Let's get started. Let's just take a minute to soak it all in here. Of course, this will be released in December, but we've got Highlander Hybrid Limited in Ruby Flare Pearl. Look at these 20 inch chrome alloy rims. This is really cool. All new body style, very elegant, very luxury, but it's also very bold, chiseled styled lines, aggressive, bold, pronounced front end. What a difference a year makes, right? I'm here at Toyota's Evolution event that talks about Toyota's commitment to alternative fuel vehicles that includes hybrid, plug-ins, hydrogen fuel cell. I have learned so much. This is probably the biggest highlight or one of the biggest highlights. I can't tell you about the other two. The front of the car, look at this grill. It is accented in chrome with a very, very three-dimensional gloss black front grill. This screams style and elegance, but also sportiness. I think it's a combination of everything. You'll see the front camera here. It goes in combination with cameras on the side, mirrors underneath, along with the backup camera for a 360 bird's eye view of everything. So you can see it'll help you out when you're parking. Now, every 2020 Toyota Highlander, including the hybrid, is going to have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So in addition to pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed radar cruise control, automatic high beams and lane departure alert with steering assist, you'll also see lane tracing assist that watches the stripes, the lines, and it keeps you centered in your lane. Even when you're going around turns, it'll keep you centered for about eight or nine seconds so that if you're distracted or looking away or something, it'll keep you centered in your lane. Huge safety feature. The other thing it has is road sign assist, so it'll be able to detect stop signs, yield signs, do not enter signs, and also the speed limit signs, and it'll tell you when you're exceeding the speed limit time. Sign, show the that, sign. Sign, 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 sign. With the 2020 hybrid, you're gonna get a few powertrain options. You can choose from the very efficient 3.5 liter V6 engine that gives you 295 horsepower or the hybrid that is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine combined with two electric motors that gives you 240 net system hybrid horsepower Woo! i'm also told that in the hybrid you can choose this is new two wheel drive or all wheel drive so now we've got choices of plenty for every different driving style every personality type what do you guys think of the styling how about those 20 inch alloy rims? Maybe the front grille? What about the headlights? Here's a close up view of the headlight design. Fog lights. And then we're gonna get up and close and personal with this baby here. Woo! Look at that. Gloss black, three-dimensional. And then in case, in case you didn't see it sooner, there's one of the cameras. I'll show you the other cameras that you'll see part of the 360 bird's eye view right underneath here, right there. Is the white one down there already? You can see the parking sonar in the rear. What I can assume will be LED tail lights. Just got a little confirmation guys. We've got full LED lights here on this particular one. LED headlights, fog lights, daytime running lights. 
they project farther, they project wider, they last longer. They also help pick up road lines easier, so that's a safety feature too. And a faster onset of action. Look at those, Woo! Some things you'll notice on the back end, there's the button for the power lift gate. And the car itself is a little bit over two inches longer and that extra storage area goes to the storage area in the cargo department here. The seats fall down flat like this, so it gives a little bit more room for storage space. And then also, the middle seat slides a little more than an inch further to allow more room between the second and the third row, so everybody's comfortable with as much leg room as possible. One other thing I just noticed I want to show you. I'll tell you about the JBL sound system in just a minute, but I'll give you a hint. It has a 1200 watt amp, 11 speakers, nine locations, but also you can see the 120 volt grounded outlet in the back too. These are all things I'm learning about, but it's all so exciting to discuss. Now this is the area with the seats all the way back. So tall drivers, yes, this will be the worst case scenario. Still plenty of leg room, really good amount of headroom. And actually it slopes backward as you get to the second row into the third row, which gives taller folks much, much more headroom. So that's nice. This is a two seater right here. So captain's chairs, you can get the Highlander configuration in either a bench or captain's chairs. Oh yeah. Now Toyota wanted me to be very clear that this is just a working prototype. In other words, the panels will not look like this. This is not the finished product. They just wanted to get it out to members of the media to show and bring the word out. This is great. It's got two USB ports in the back, another grounded outlet, temperature controls for the backseat passengers. Here's the cup holder. Should we get in? I think so. We want to know what the interior looks like, don't we? Oh, this is so nice. It's so refined and classy and modern. It's luxury. I know I'm being a fanboy right now, but come on, look at this. 12.3 inch multimedia touchscreen. We'll look at that in just a second. Ooh, baby. Check out this luxury interior seating from the passenger perspective here. Has powered passenger seat. Again, some of these accents will not be as you see them here. But notice how this storage shelf has evolved over time and then the metallic accents. There's also a part right here I'm sure where people can plug in their devices and run their cords through there. And I knew it, there was charging everywhere. This is great. Look at that. This is new, baby. Let's look inside the center console. I encourage everybody to share my video on your social media pages. I think this is important to get this information out so we can all see what we've got coming in December. It's gonna be big, folks. Real big. See if we can show a little bit of the controls here. Automatic high beams. I'll tell you what I know. That draws power to the plugs. Rain sensing wipers. Heated steering wheel. 360 camera. Let's check that out. Yeah, that is nice. Shows you everything that is around you. Boy, the, the crystal clear picture gets better and better every year. Since we're in a red car, let's change it to that. The bird's eye view great, is great because it can show you what's close to you. That way you can see if you're getting close to another car's bumper as you're turning into a tight parking structure, corner. Let's look at this leather wrapped steering wheel here. The cruise is definitely new. Has lane departure alert and it's got steering assist on it. Let's look through this multi-information display here.
I like it. Pre-collision system, blind spot monitor, parking sonar, rear cross traffic alert, rear cross braking, rear cross traffic braking, road sign assist. Yeah, I like it. So what do you think guys? Are you ready to investigate on your own? Are you ready to see the Highlander in person? Do you want one now? It's got cooled seats and heated seats in the front. I love this instrument panel for climate. Wow, look at that. What a change. It's gonna have Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, Apple CarPlay, Waze compatibility, of course Sirius XM. It's gonna have dynamic navigation system so it's updated from the cloud. I'm sure it has remote connected services. It'll have standard, yeah, well, standard safety connect right here. Let's see what else is going on. It says pre-production type vehicle. Auto dimming rear view mirror, garage door openers. Trying to show you everything I can. The radio. Oh, I like that. Hashtag, there's so much to see with this. So what does everybody think? Remember, JBL. There we go. Concert-like performance right in your car. And I guess we can call this a storage pocket right here for whatever you kind of want it to be right in here. Charging ports, media ports, 12 volt circular port. Toyota is definitely taking a stand. They are going to be leaders in multimedia technology and safety. Let's look inside. Again, this is a prototype, so don't look at the doors too much. It's gonna have memory seating. It's just beautiful. And we know it looks great on a Camry, an Avalon, a RAV4. What do you guys think of Ruby Flare Pearl on the new Highlander, huh? Ha 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 And did I mention the best news of all, it's gonna combine for 34 miles a gallon. That's a 17% increase versus the 2019 RAV4 hybrid. 34 MPG, yeah, you know me. Oh man, I want one. What do you guys think? Do you want one? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to Torque News YouTube channel for the latest Toyota news and daily automotive analysis. See you next time.